Hello, BB Gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Omer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And we have a whole new party. This game took quite a bit to update, actually, as we started the game. So I'm assuming that's to do with the festival that's going to be happening. The Lantern Festival that's going to be happening this week. And I wanted to kind of like talk about that for a second because I think a lot of people were saying to me that, yeah, it would be cool to take part in it, but it will be kind of spoilers for uh, later areas. And also, you have to get to a certain area first to be able to do it. Uh, so we might hold off on it just for now. Uh, there's also a few other things that I just didn't do, um, like this. Uh, we didn't claim some stuff. That's our commissions. Is it here we didn't uh, claim some stuff, or which was it? Domains? Once you reach Adventure Rank 40, you can quick challenge Lock Trounce Domains through your Adventure Handbook in single player mode. Okay, so these are different domains we can do. We have Guide. Claim these. We can claim all this stuff. Okay, that's cool. Can we claim these as well? No, we can't. Okay. Um. So, yeah, people were saying, yeah, check out the book thing. There's commissions. Which we can do this now. It says random on the thing. And then Mondstadt on the thing. Okay. And then we have M Battle. Oh, so we have more things to obtain. Cool, cool. And... Okay, awesome. Thank you for letting me know that. And uh, then we also have... Oh, open in open in inventory in space? Uh, what's this? Choose weapon prototype. Rancor. Okay, choose this. Details. Ascend? You want, us to, you want me to ascend this? I mean, okay. Ascending su successfully. Is that what they want me to do? Just want, want me to do that? See, it's always like this. I always have to like figure out a bunch of stuff to do. This was the thing we saw earlier. Once, I think we already saw this, right? We saw this. We saw this. We saw this. This is something I, um, I'll f you know, you guys were telling me about as well. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure about most of this stuff, but we'll check out this as well. <laughs> Press to comp here. Oh, we can... Leave the healing to me. Wait, we have a new character? So this is what people are saying. People are saying I got a new character <laughs> called Barbara. Here. Leave the healing to me. I will not disappoint But you. I didn't suspect it was just going to be like a, a free character. <laughs> so here. have you ever heard of Deacon, Deacon is Barbara? Everyone on Mondstadt loves her. There seems to be someone, something on her mind, Lady, and no one seems to know what's bothering her. If you happen to meet her by chance, why not stay and have a chat with her? It's up to you to help her smile in return. So we just got that. We just got an extra character. Over here we have um, People's Hello. Choice. Nice to meet you. Conf oh, we can do this now. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. Confirm. I so hard Enter the abyss. It. Let's do this. To get Zhang Ling. Oh, we have to get to Musk Reef. So we have to navigate to there. Oh, okay, we'll do that. So that's one of the things we have to do. Hello. There's curtains nice of leaves. Everything's ready. Let's go. What? And that's, is that the same thing? Hold on a sec. That's the same place? So that's where we have to go. We have to go to that place to, uh, to obtain those things. Um, we have... Let the magic begin. This... Pastor Hill to remain complete. The Yang Young staged challenges to get this. Okay. Oh, so we have to do her, her, her trials. So there's more trials and more characters. But she has a story quest as well. This is kind of insane to me. There's so much to Lithic Oath in Shenyu. And the Mist Paths unlock as well. There's a whole bunch of new quests. Um, in our side quest here, we have like a bunch of commissions which we'll do right away. Just to get some uh, stuff. We also have World Quests. Perfect shot. Snow Cover Pad. We got these last time. Looks like Catherine has something to tell you. But also, we haven't finished this yet. So we're going to finish this right away. And then we'll do our commissions. We have a whole new party. I love our new party. Um, changes might happen as time goes on. We might try out um, the new character we got too to see how good she is. Apparently Bennett is like just legit one of the best characters in the game. And I didn't even realize. This wasn't something I like. I just you know liked him because he had a great design. It's funny how that works though. And to the cathedral. 
Like how, like, you know, I wouldn't know exactly which character is which or which character is good. Oh, it's all the... Oh, wait, that's... That's the character we were... We just unlocked. So that kind of makes sense. And Jean's in full jacket, by the way. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here oh, she's going to want to receive it. Oh, yes. By the way, as well, that was my sister who was the... The the white princess or the white witch or whatever. Um, I didn't realize it was her just because we only see her for like a few seconds at the start of the game and then we don't see her again after that. So literally the only reason I didn't see her was that or didn't notice her was that. Um, and they don't talk about her all the time, especially when you're doing so many quests. Like we've done 17 hours worth of quests and they've probably talked about her three times in the in, in the story, but obviously I'm not always in the main story. May the animal Argon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting grandmaster. But I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice. The, Fatui, the Fatui's always a very strange uh, tr uh, uh, party member or like group of people. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We cannot ask you to keep defending the liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. So she's actually like, um, like a really cool design as well. I'm sorry, this is the first thing I always know. I just love character design so much. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, but it's just. Oh, yeah, it got banged up, didn't it? Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. Uh, 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 the Holy Liar! Yeah, it's busted. Oh, oh no, the poor girl. Even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life, it would still not be enough. The amount of like personality they have in characters like right away is always impressive. She was like so happy to meet us, and then she's like, "What have you done?" trick I used to repair the holy liar. I mean, the magic. Magic isn't going to hold forever, you know. Oh God, she's gonna see his brains again. He's actually such a funny character. He really is. Oh wow! No. Oh, they're showing up right in Mondstadt as well. Did they just freeze Paimon? Oh, who is this? At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. La Signora. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers. Oh my god. Mondstadt calls this a god? She's doing this right in the middle of Mondstadt. Beats invasive vermin. <laughs> Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Should have held your tongue. <gasps> What's she doing to Venti? So, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. But, but what is that? 
beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. Oh, he's still talking trash. He's still talking shite. But she's able to take down a god like this? Well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. After much time has passed, what has just happened? She she did that- I know I keep saying but she did that right in front of the Monsai Cathedral. So she has no fear whoever this- well, La Signora. Honorary Knight, you're awake! Is the Lyle okay? By the way, the music there was fantastic too. Venti, is he alright? Um, I wouldn't say he's alright, exactly. He got destroyed, and something taken out of him as well. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal. And then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. That's interesting That's that she held, held her tongue a bit before she said, she, I want to say Master Jean. I think Jean understands. I think I understand. I think, yeah, we'll say Jean understands. Before. Yes. Okay, yes. Thank you, Paimon. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. Okay. So interesting, like, Bar like we just got, like, absolutely destroyed. <laughs> very, very soundly. Um, terribly so. <laughs> um... Find Venti at Windrise. That was crazy. She did it right, right here in front of the cathedral. Like, and that's a big deal. Like, for someone to come in into the Mondstadt and get them the ruler of Mondstadt, the leader of Mondstadt, and just do that is... I guess it's the... Is this the back entrance to the cathedral or something? No, this is the... I think it's the side entrance to the cathedral. Is it? No, it's the front. No, this is the front. Is it? I, I don't know. Well, anyway, like, definitely crazy enough to do that. You have to be crazy enough to do that. Or at least a little bit crazy to do something like that. So. I guess we're going after Venti. Who was that? Like, again, is it Lady Signora? Is that what she's called? She had a very cool design. The very cool music as well accompanying her was also awesome. Um, I guess, like, we have to find Venti Windrise. We'll finish the story before we go in any further. And then we'll um, do our commissions. And uh, things like that. And do a little few side quests. Uh, whereabouts is Windrise? Oh, it's, oh it's the, yeah, it's the place where he was hanging out before. The Statue of the Seven. Jesus. This is kind of, kind of terrifying, though, because... Like, we don't know, like, what this girl is planning. And if she can do that to Venti so easily. And I love Venti. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. <sighs> Why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? So what is a gnosis? Yeah, this is important. Uh, so you know. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people, but I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, Every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people allogenes. Okay. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. 
That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself. Known as a Gnosis. What about the thing hanging off your hip? So everyone's Gnosis is different? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> it's just a glowing glass ball I carry around <laughs> to avoid suspicion. So that's what they think is the... Okay, okay. Huh? So who is that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your Gnosis? Her name is Signora. Signora, okay. Number eight of the Harbingers. Number eight. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya. And with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa who reigns from the Zeppeljarni Palace. And the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The seven don't always get along well, but still... I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. Uh, how should I put this? 500 years ago, I knew her well. But I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago. And after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. Okay. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain. Well, someone. his whole thing is he's part. He's he's the he's the god of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> he, In any case. This I love the little rivalry. Ascension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another Jesus. year. Jesus. What? Why didn't you tell us before? <laughs> well, then bye. We're going. Yep. One moment, Windborn Outlander. You mean me? Sorry for borrowing the statues and power without asking. Should we just say that really funny? <laughs> just use it gratefully. Or, better yet, treat me to a glass of dandelion wine. Traveler. As you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. Yep. The birds of Tavat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. The destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. This is important, I guess. This is like, you know, hey, take it at your own pace. Great. So, that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. If you want to chat, now's the time. Okay, so I guess we can talk to him a bit more about these, these things. So, about Dvalin. Up till the end, Dvalin remembered his duty as one of the Four Winds. As such, I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. I just hope that Dvalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. If you want to chat, now's the okay, time. Okay, so this is cool. This is cool. Is not Getting more um, information. Kaya shared some new intelligence, you say? Oh, I see. So, the Abyss Order has our sister who orchestrated the plan <laughs> to corrupt Dvalin? They were probably trying to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war for the Abyss. But that said, I have never heard of any such princess of the Abyss Order. So this is a recent development. So then I wonder, like, when she was dropped in, did they convince her, hey, you know, we were both dropped into the same world and she was convinced of a different thing that we were convinced of. I think so, too. Apparently. But how does a princess come out of nowhere and take command over the entire Abyss Order? If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Signora. That the Tui lady didn't hang around, did she? She just grabbed your gnosis and left? She wanted to avoid any eyewitnesses from the Knights of Favonius. The slightest slip up here would have destroyed the Fatui's diplomatic relations with the Knights. 
So they're just gonna keep acting like Mondstadt's allies as if nothing happened? <sighs> if only the Seven Nations had banded together against the Abyss Order in the first place. The Fatui possess the strongest military among the Seven Nations, yet they've used it to steal the Holy Liar, covet the power of gods, and use Dvalin as a bargaining chip against the Knights. Speaking of the Liar, didn't Diluc say something like this before? He said that the Fatui could only run amok across the Seven Nations and threaten the Knights because of the Harbingers. Yes. As I said earlier, the Cryo Archon has given them authority and strength beyond that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa... Oh, I haven't seen her in 500 years. What is she thinking? What's her plan? Oh, whatever the answer is, I have a feeling it's only going to make your search I, I for feel the so. I feel like too. I feel like too. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single club. So we're going to have to find out more about Signora as we're going through the game, I'm guessing, and then deities. As I said before, vision wielders are known as allogenes and may ascend to Celestia. A gnosis is a higher order nexus of elemental manipulation and is emblematic of an archon's status as one of the seven. But as for which of the seven took your sister, I'm sorry, I don't know. Wait, as one of the seven, I'm not clear of suspicion yet either, am I? Um, we've known you long enough to trust you. <laughs> Venti putting himself in the <laughs> line of fire. We're a great team indeed. Say, once you find your sister, how would you like to become one of the new Four Winds? Perhaps? Mm, you don't seem too into it. I mean, like, I don't know, it, it seems like a lot of work. Hey, Tone Dev Bard, if being one of the Four Winds means free food, you can consider Paimon. <laughs> if you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. So there's nothing else. Thank you so much. Well then, best be off to Lele. If the dissension ritual you failed to tally, then another year you must doubt. Thank you. Domain of Blessing Unlocked. So this is it. This is a whole new uh, journey we're going on. Battlefield of Dice, Cats and Cards available from Adventure Rank 32. There are various ways to retain adventure XP and raise your adventure rank, whether it be completing various quests, looking for... Oh, we know this, yeah. You can obtain XP from these activities, increase your adventure rank, yep, yep, yep. So we've finished Prologue Act 3, and we've started Chapter 1, Act 1 of Land of Amidst Monoliths. So they keep telling us this every time. Look, they even have a... She's definitely wearing a different outfit now, look at that. That's definitely a different outfit from the first time we saw, right? Uh, so we have a new quest... We probably have something to claim as well in our mail. Claim. Uh, claim. Cool. Okay, so we claimed all. What characters are now in our little thing now? So we have this group here. Oh, that that these, these characters are real. Noelle's in this group as well, which is strange. But she, this is a, sta a standard? This is standard. Is this the new standard? Is this actually a character? Of no, this is not standard. So, does it matter? I guess we can. We can. We have one wish. If we could try it on this. I mean, people said there's no difference. Why not? Let's see if we get something. Probably not. That's a weapon. Yep, I could tell already. Um, fine. Uh, and we'll try one more. We'll, we'll try one more and then we'll get into business because I don't want to just be here for the whole time. You know? Yeah. Uh, we, we might try one more of that when we get 1600. Because I actually do like doing it like in tens because it's actually kind of fun. So we also have this over here. Profile. Is a story that we have to look into here? Character story one. A boy and a girl... Oh, sure, this is just telling us a story. A boy and a girl still amidst the, the tumult. Under unfamiliar sky, you were a pair of traveling twins passing through the countless worlds during your journey, descending upon a continent named Taivat. You hoped that you'd be able to enjoy your time here, but as you woke uh, among the falling stars, you saw a world of turmoil and cataclysm raging across the land. You sought to leave this place and move on to the next world, 
But then an unknown god stood before you, barring the way. This deity was spotless, floating over a world of chaos, looking down on you. The god took your only kin away, and you were sealed and cast into a deep slumber filled with nightmares. When you reawakened, re when you reawakened, the world was changed. This is the thing that happened to the star. The flames of war raged no longer, and nothing was left that looked familiar. How long have you been asleep? You had no answers. Thus, you began a lonely journey, seeking the deity that you once uh, laid eyes on. So that's what we're searching for. After that you met Paimon and wandered together for some time, you learned that this world has seven deities who rule the seven nations as the seven uh, archons. Uh, your first stop was the free city of wine and song, Mondstadt, a b city built by the uh, Animo um, Archon. And you know, I, may, I can never pronounce that. As you stepped into Mondstadt as an out, uh, outlander, it was as the other nations were beset uh, on by both sides by human, uh, non-human and human threats. The non-human threat was comprised of confederacy known as the Abyss Order. The human threat, on the other hand, stemmed from the ambition of Saritza, god of Shenzaya. The Abyss Order had corrupted an ally of the Amino Archon, the Dragon of the East, the Four Winds of Mondstadt, the Envoys of Shenzaya. For their part, used this opposition to the Abyss as an excuse to put pressure on Mondstadt. These threats from within, without and within caused the return of the Amino Archon. Um who took the form of a bard and joined you in a journey to save the dragon. That's Venti. Yet there was something that you did not see. For the dragon fell to the abyss, a certain figure had been reflected in its eyes. The one who ruled the abyss. She had once traveled with you, and you had not once crossed many worlds together. So that's our sister. When faced with the circumstances that they cannot control, humans often bemoan their powerlessness. But if a person is found to have surpassing ambition, even as their life reaches such a desperate turning point, the gods would look upon, to, upon them with favor. The favor is the vision and external magical force focus given to those who have been acknowledged by the gods which they can channel and amount to power. Celestia is the realm of the gods and the wielders of vision walk to the earth below. When they depart from this world, the chosen will ascend. After coming into this world, you often hear people speak of such things. Uh, you, for your part, can never receive a vision, for an alien life form does not belong. It is wise to allow a moment's ambition to dominate one's entire life. You have needed to consider many such thought-provoking questions. Once that requires lengthy consideration during your journey through many words. So we have, like, a bunch of different character stories that are going to unlock as we're going through here. Another thing, though, I want to do... This is our heavy weapon guy here, uh, along with her. So we can enhance these weapons. Um, but we can also refine them. And select materials so we can use these, for example. So we might use this uh, and then refine. So that builds up its rank a bit. Okay, cool. And we do the same thing maybe with... Um, meet my ski over here. It wasn't ascended. But we can refine it. We still need some materials to actually find out to um, uh, enhance it and ascend it. So, for example, we need item details. Where was this purchased from? A souvenir shop in Lou. So we're gonna get we're gonna get there. Her her, her materials are definitely gonna be as as ascended for sure. Uh, we also have a new character over here, <laughs> which is uh, Barbara, which I didn't even know we could get. Um, her talents include. Normal attack, Whisper of Water. Actually, what we might do is let, let the snow begin level 1, Shining Miracle, Glorious Season. What we might do is, before we do anything, we'll look at her talents later, but what we might do is try her out for a bit and see what her... You know, I like seeing what their characters do uh, beyond that. So let's go into our party setup. Um, and select party 2. And so we're going to pick... Wander. There's still a long road ahead. Uh, Barbara, who has water now, by the we way. Can do this! Uh, which will be freaking awesome. Uh, I'll watch your back. And I guess we'll choose Sayu as well. Just to, just this is a test out party. I want to see how they um how they do. Um, oh, we didn't save that, did we? Of course, we didn't save it. Switch. Wait. Oh, we, there we go. Deploy. So this is the, our, our deploy. I want to I just try out Barbara for a bit. Like, you know, why not? So Barbara has... Her first thing is... Her basic attack is just this. But obviously, oh, we shouldn't use it on these guys. Let's find someone else to do it on. You know what I mean? I feel like it's the opposite of what we should do here. Oh, these guys might be good. So she also has a musical attack, which is going to be cool. So the basic attack yeah. is just a, to make them wet. Um... If you hold it down, you get more people wet. 
Uh, we have the basic... Okay, so that gets people wet again, but also heals the characters too. So I wonder what happens if you hold that. Let's actually see in a second, but for now, uh, let's electrocute these guys. And it, and it stays, the healing stays, or the, the ability stays. Pretty cool. I shouldn't do that because I get blown up, but you know. Um, so let's check what happens when you hold it. It's just a bigger heal. Um, we'll keep her out for a bit because I want to see where her special move is as well. Actually, like, a nice little support character, but apparently Bennett can also heal as well. So the first yeah. thing we're going to do is we're going to start doing these. Yeah. Well, if it isn't these guys again, the the Fatui Patuis, well, our best our best friends. <laughs> the commissions are actually fun. They're actually fun to do. Anthony Padilla, what's the matter? Will the prescription really work? Traveler, you've got great time. And I was just in some spot of bother. Here's the thing: you remember my younger sister Anna, right? She's always been sickly, and nothing's managed to cure her. But I heard there's an incredible doctor in Lou Harbour who was, who was especially skilled at curing the incurable, so I asked someone to help me get a prescription from him. The ingredients are all very unusual, but I suppose I can only give it a shot. Let me see. Uh, can we find a dendro uh, possess berry? There's such a thing? I have no clue either. Do dendro signs really eat berries? Either way, I'm counting on you. I do know of a place where both slimes and berries may be found. Please help take a look and I'll find it. Okay, so we'll navigate this quest as well. And we'll see if we can find it there. Yeah. It's just over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll try out this character for a bit. Especially since we're in the lower level areas. I still think that the other party we created is... is I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm super excited for it. I don't think having... Maybe to having two heavy weapon characters is not the best idea in the world, but like... I don't know. I like using heavy weapons. It's fun in this game. For sure. Hundred twenty-five meters up. Okay, so we have to climb up. Oh, hello. I mean, it's actually like pretty good. Like, it's it's never really daunting to try and find items in this game. It's over in this direction. Up again. Okay. New quest. Leanne's troubles. Talk to trouble Leanne. Wait, what? Check on the state of the berries. Must be berries, but some are missing, so there is... Oh, so someone's eating them. Processed, by the way, not processed. I don't know why I was, like, thinking it was some magical word. These here? Is there an enemy here that I'm supposed to be looking for? Are you an enemy? I think they are an enemy, yeah. I don't... I forget what... Um, do these guys... Hold on a second. So that creates bloom. And then we can do this. Let's see, we want to... Yeah. It, it does damage, but like, again, we'd want to like... Be able to get the right damage in, you know? Oh, we got it? Okay, so it's just literally processed through their stomach. That's interesting. Okay. That's, that wasn't too difficult. Uh, I'm fine, though. Thank you. 
I don't mind the, the request being up there. It doesn't bother me too much. I think also, like people said, there could be random requests as well from people. Have you found it? Yes, I have. Is that it? It really doesn't look any different. Wherever you look at it, it's just an ordinary berry. Forget it. Since that's the doctor's orders, let's follow the description to the letter. Thank you. This is for your trouble. I might need to bother you again in the future when it happens. Please don't decline. Cool. Another commission complete. What we might do is... I'm going to go back into... Let's try one more. <laughs> Why not? I, I didn't mean to go in here, but we'll try one more since we're in here anyway. Nice, a book. Um, hold on a second. I should have checked what book that was, but um, we have more mail? Oh, like gifts. Yeah. I never I never get this. Um, party setup. We're going to go back to our original party that we had at the start of the game. I like that party. And we'll deploy these guys. Because this is the party I want to uh, stick with for a while at the very least. I know Sayu is going to be under level for quite a bit. But I'm kind of not too upset about that yet. Let's travel here. Maybe talk to me in a while, you know? <laughs> Talk to me in a little while. When I'm getting destroyed later on. This game is still so beautiful. And we're still in only the, like, the first area. People keep telling me that it's going to get even more like beautiful. You just destroy these guys? Okay. We'll have to look at the town. We did look at the towns, actually. I like having a sword user, by the way. That can burn things, like, that easily, you know what I mean? Look at that! Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You're not, over you're not overloaded, but we get to use you, you too. Actually, the levels are going up. Which is mad. Nice. Nice little shots as well. I like how he gets destroyed by himself, you know? Oh, here we go again. Burned this up. And like, yeah, that, that's the thing. I think, you know, the bows weren't, like, fantastic for me. Yes, like, I could have done better with Amber. But, like, I think, I think it was also just a matter of, like... I wasn't fantastic, you know, at using the bow as well. I can totally acknowledge that, you know what I mean? I'm not going to pretend I was anyway good. This is actually a really good character. Razor. Where's the next one? So the next one's over here. I love that there's fast travel points right by the commissions. That's great. Oh, I thought it was doing a loading screen. I was like, oh, what? That's taking a while. Taking longer than usual. We'll also read the, the extra tutorial on um, the snowy areas too, so we can figure out how to get closer into there. Apparently, like, there's no snowy area yet. So it's not something I can generally do just yet. Um, but that's okay. Yeah! Oh, yeah, we're out, we're out, without, a, without a bow user for this area, it's kind of weird, isn't it? We could do this, but it's not going to do anything up to the guy up top, you know? Really great damage on this guy, look at this. That's the thing, I'm, I'm wondering if we, do, if we need at least one bow user. Even though, like, I like I know, because I, cause it's, it's areas like this that are going to be tough, you know what I mean? It's areas like this. got fire damage and we were able to like get this as well actually some really good damage after the refinement as well isn't it it's this we have to destroy is it I love our new characters I think they're really good Oh, 
got a little swirl going on. Like the fact that we also have like really ways that's ice damage is oh no we got shot with ice i was like oh my god we got like extra ice damage going on that's really cool i was like geez what 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 can't he do oh we just have to destroy the hilly church towers we don't have to fight these guys but still i think we're gonna need an archer <laughs> i think i think i'm i'm be i'm i'm make believing if i think that we can do this whole game without an archer you know what i mean Unless we could use this ability from Wonder, but then again, I think I'm just being stubborn there. You know what I mean? Like that's, do we have any projectiles for these characters? It'd be nice if we did. I don't, oh, okay, we might need an archer. So I think maybe, Everybody stand back. Who do, do we actually replace Wonder? Cause I don't want to replace any other character on this team. I feel terrible. I feel absolutely terrible. Because, like, I don't want to replace Sayo. I don't want to replace Razor. I don't want to replace Bennett. They're really freaking cool. Like, I guess we could keep Wander. Like, it'd be cool if Wander was a bow user. <laughs> That'd be really neat. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll think about it. We'll think about it for now. We'll think about it just for now. And we'll try and avoid this guy for, for the moment. What is happening with this stuff here? Are they trying to... Do we get... For a standard banner or something, we got one wish. Oh, we got two of these. So there's a chance you can get a character on this as well. But there's also a chance you get a weapon too. I mean, why not like, you know? Oh, we can use that to refine our weapons. I'm actually happy with that. And this is the other one we got. Epitomized path? Epitomized path is a mechanic including this epitome invocation. Once you've charted the course towards your chosen weapon, you will obtain one fate point, receiving a five star weapon that is not uh, the one you choose. Once you accumulate enough fate points, your next five star weapon will be the one you choose to epitomize path. Your fate points will be reset upon obtaining an epitomized path uh, weapon. During this epitome invocation, if you do not choose a weapon, Wishes will not accumulate fate points. You can change or cancel your selection. There, this will reset your accumulated fate points. Then when this epitome invocation ends, your accumulated fate will confirm. Okay. Is this... I do... I do not understand that at all. One more of these. Let's go. <laughs> it's exciting, right? It is exciting. I think that's a weapon, isn't it? Usually they're different colors if they're not weapons. It'd be cool if you could put, like, a, a bow in his hand. Okay, where's our next commission? It's over here. We should just head right over here and actually get this part as well. And then I want to head to Musk Reef. I know you can get there with, um, uh, Cryo. So we should definitely try that. Spreading healers just defeating all the enemies again. Alright, was anyone up high? Congratulations. You did it. This is going to be overload. Oh, that's so good for this guy as well. Look at that. And then we can just get this guy with this as well. Actually... Get a swirl on going on as well with Sayu. That's why I like having Sayu on the team as well. I think she's a perfect compliment to Ben and Razor too. Because she can do the swirl thing as well. Is that it? Is that all the commission? I think there might be one more commission, is there? No, there's not, because they're not activated. Uh, let's check anyway. I think that's all our commissions. For the day. Maybe? Wait, it'll say here, right? Yeah, 
We're finished our commissions. We can go back and get that, and then we'll go back next time. Actually, it might be good to just activate this now. If you guys have any alternatives I could do with the, the bow situation, or if I, you know, if you guys just say, hey, you just you just have to use a bow, then that's what we'll have to do going forward. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. What is going on with that? Should we go up top of the mountain to see what it is? Because it looks like it's like a, a lot up a lot higher. And we don't we don't have a bow. We don't have a bow. Let's rest up a bit, Razor. What is that? Maybe we do have to just go under it. Oh my god, look at all these little things over here too. We, I, I don't think we've been, we've been here, have we? Sorry, I just want to see what this unlocks. His voice acting is very good too. We usually find out that it's like a... Like a girl usually when it's a younger boy, don't we? Jesus. Yeah, some good moves gonna happen in there as well. He's always getting knocked over by this stuff, isn't he? And we might as well get for the other stuff too. But I wonder if it's it's too dangerous. To oh, there's another one around here. That's what's happening. <laughs> See, that's the thing. It was like a lot less dangerous with Amber because you could just shoot it from a distance, right? Where are you going? You going the long way around? Fair enough. You do what you do. You. Try and get around this way. Is there another one hanging around? Probably. Off we go. There's also another chest. Oh, that's the one up there. We can see it. Wrong weapon. So apparently as well, people like ship Ben and Razor a lot too. Useful? Something I didn't even realize. And like, I think it's just because like, like people said they're like best friends also. Like there's a lot of big, big interpretations about who they are as characters, which is kind of cool. But people were very excited for me to get these guys because I didn't even realize, I only, again, like, you know me, I go by like how cool the design is. Where did he, where, where's he gone? There he is. I'm here. There we go. I usually go by who cool the design is, and then we go from there. And then I found out, like, the weapons they were using were actually cool, too. So I just got excited just because of that. It just works like that? Oh, it just activated the thing? Oh, so we can get that chest over there. Oh, oh, hold on a second. What was that? What is that? Oh, we landed just outside it. Let me see it again. What, what, like... Because he wandered through it. And it didn't work out. Just go down. Is, is that all we have to do? Just go through it like this? A warp drive? What the hell? What? Where do we go? Musk Reef. That's how you get to Musk Reef. Or like another way. Like I think I think I was I was planning on traveling a different way. Make my ski. Made my ski. Made my ski. She gets it. Nice, nice little electro charge going on here. I still think electro charge is probably best for these guys. And then maybe a little bit Sayu. Like this. 
interesting. Like, again, I, I, there's so many things that are just like you just try in this game and see if they work. And that definitely did work. I'll take it. Smell of treasure. People are also saying that I'm going to have to care more about artifacts going forward as well as the game gets more difficult. We'll, we'll definitely t deal with all that stuff for sure. For sure. We'll try it out. The best we can. Okay, so this is the challenge where we apparently you can get our girl Shang Ling. Is that it there? That is definitely it. But we should travel on top of it maybe? To get the thing the thing on the top. The the thing you can offer to the statue. What's the highest point we can get to? Maybe the tree? I say the tree. I'm going in. And then switch. Yeah, I think I think I don't even think it's people that like are here in the game or whatever. I think it's legit like it's that the people who are trying to join are not like subscribers all the time. They're just people who are like you can auto look for people to join. What is that? What are we doing here? I don't even know what to call that. They they love juggling you in this game. I'll see you later. Bye bye. It's weird not like automatically just all, all of a sudden not having the same members that we had in the team before. Like we had so we like our our teams it looks so different now. And people did point out that I did want to keep Amber for a while, but obviously like I I think Bennett's better. And it's also kind of nice not having a character who's like so you know in the story. Like Amber was in the story. So for context reasons, it's actually kind of nice. Spiral Abyss. Let's try it out. The Grand Under Cor Corridor, which leads to an unknown spiral constructed. Okay. I agree. So this is a challenge mission? Blessed of the Abyssal Moon, Bursting Moon. After characters obtain an elemental shard created by the crystallized reaction, it will, c it will be counted. Uh, it will be counted. When the count reaches to three, the shockwave will be released at the character's location, dealing true damage to nearby opponents and resetting the count. One such shockwave can be triggered by every six seconds. So after a character obtains elemental shards created by a crystallized reaction, it will be counted. Okay. When the count reaches to three, the shockwave will be released and the character's location dealing true damage to nearby opponents. Okay. So let's try this out. Chamber 1. So remaining challenge time no longer 90 seconds. Chamber 2, 90 seconds. Okay, let's, let's just try it. Let's just go for it. You know what I mean? Let's just start. And the characters we'll choose, I think, are... Um, since it's a challenge, we can definitely choose different characters than we would normally choose, right? But I think we'll choose our high-level characters. And, the char the, and practice with the team that we're going to be using for a while anyway. Character Elemental Mastery plus 80. So that's our reward? Let's go. So we've seen these challenges before in the trials, which we'll be doing again, hopefully. So we'll start off with uh, this. Everybody stand back! The so level 25. <laughs> Adventure time. Get out grab here. your friends, I guess. He likes that show. So we have to get no. You have to do this in in how many seconds? Let's light it up. In uh, in two hundred ten seconds. Okay. I'm going in. Adventure time. He loves adventure time. It's probably a good idea to do as well, isn't it? Overload them as much as we can. Yeah. 
Meet my ski. So we, we beat all the challenges and we got all the stuff that we needed. This is cool. This is really cool. Choose your Benedict. So that Ellen character. Oh, so we can choose this. Okay. Yeah, let's go with this. Probably the the bad idea to do this one, I'd say. Um But now it's I guess it's 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 not too bad. Cause we can use fire anyway. Yeah. Everybody stand back! Off we go! And then use Sayo maybe to overload them a bit. And then switch back to Razor. This is actually a lot difficult. I find these guys a lot harder to defeat than you guys had before. Who do we choose, Bennett? There we go. A little bit of overload. Sayu can go as well. No, we definitely need to do more than this, for sure. Oh, Jesus. And then switch to Razor. And it's actually like... I don't know, I, th I think we can do this with 210 seconds left. Let's light it up. And is it just you? Is it just you left? Is it just you yet? There we go. Nice. Oh, it's not just you left. Get rid of this as well. Let's light it up. So that's on fire too, anyway. Okay. Um. Why not just use this, by the way? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is that it? Wait. Has it changed? I, I, I'm kind of confused on how this works. Continue the challenge. Yeah, continue the challenge. Did I, did I die? Did I get smacked? Did I... Was that what happened? No, this is chamber three, so it just it knocked me out for some reason. That's strange, isn't it? Teamwork is dream work! Heck yeah. I'm about to pass out over here. Is, are you? No, not really. Okay. We have to burn this as quick as possible. Probably should hold that maybe just to get the extra bit of damage in as well. And then get the swinger dinger going. Who's left? Who's next? Who's next? Actually, not bad. Actually, not terrible. Nice little overload, you know what I mean? Not ter not a terrible thing to fight back against. Adventure time. I can do the same thing to her. There we go. Is that that? That's it. And we had... Oh, we didn't get to 210 seconds. That actually took a while. 
So hold on a second. If I exit the Spiral Abyss, what level are we on now? Do we, do we unlock the second one? I just want to make sure I, I didn't just skip through that, like, too quickly. We unlock this. Okay. Claim rewards? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's try uh, to do cryo damage dealt by all party members increased by 75%, so we should definitely put our boy in. The duration of frozen status effect is greatly increased. Okay, so that, that makes sense. So that, that makes perfect sense if we put in then. Uh, so we'll put in one, two. Let's try a non-wander party. Let's try it. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not going to kill us. And it says cryo damage starts, so when HP carries you in 50%, attack plus 30%. Yeah, this is good. This is good for the first one, at least. Cryo damage does extra damage as well, so. Make sure everyone gets together. Teamwork is dreamwork! Oh, so sorry. And there's a superconduct as well. And it does extra damage too, like. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Wrong one entirely. Get out of here! Out of the way! That's gonna hurt in the morning. Probably gonna hurt now. Cool it. Nice little super conduct going on. Let's light it Overload up. them a bit. Dodge this! Do we like? I'm wondering, should we keep, just keep like keep the fire damage going with these guys, just like, like in quick bursts? Because that seems the only thing that's gonna like maybe knock them down a bit. Come over here as well. You're not gonna get the two ten, I don't think. Everybody, stand back! That's not gonna work. I don't know why I try. I, I switched to Sayu, but I was being very bold. This is actually this is actually tough to get the and we only and we still have 15 like we're not gonna get that what we want out of this for sure. I wonder should we just like meet my ski? Oh, they're level 40. That's why. <laughs> I didn't even realize how high of a level they were. Um, that makes things very different. Off we go. Adventure time. Get out of here. Take cover. Like, I don't... We're clearly on the level for this. I don't think we'll do the next challenge. But we'll try with this challenge. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll try our best. We're, like, we're like 13 levels under leveled here. Off we go. Teamwork is dreamwork. I think we'll come back. I think we'll leave for now and come back. I think the first challenge was meant for people who were a little lower level. Um, and we can go and claim our stuff anyway. Um, should we explore a bit of Musk Reef? Yeah, I really like our party. The only thing that's a downside is not having the bow. Because, or not having a projectile at the very least. Bennett reminds me of like a... Okay. It reminds me of like a Xenoblade character almost. Like with the, the little... The, the pants and stuff. In a good way, completely. Xenoblade designs are awesome. <laughs> what is the purpose of this? Is it just to get over there? We'll go, we'll go up high and see what we're looking at here. It might just be to get over here. Or no, to get that. Now I get what it is. Yeah, it was to get that item that we got before. Okay, let's travel back to Mondstadt. And we'll get what we need to get over here then. We also haven't fully explored Storm Terror's lair. Well, we have explored it, but we just haven't like really fine tooth combed it either. Is I always check the mail just in case we're no, I guess not. Let's go let's get some D as well. We haven't gotten some D in a while too. Good hunter. And I like buying this stuff as well, you know, it's fun. You know, it's, it's it makes me feel like I'm part of the world. 
buying this type of stuff. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. There we go. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Like, it's worth it. It's worth getting a few prio gems out of you, know what I mean? And also, we should collect our other items from this, too. Do you have a little mission for me? I didn't mean to go up on your table. Have you heard of Stormterror's lair? It's those ruins outside Mondstadt. While Stormterror made the place his home, it was shrouded in a whirling impassable storm. No one could pass through, so the precious crystal ore in there hasn't been mined. I've heard people say that the storm around the area has disappeared. That should have been a prime moment for to go for the ore veins. But with so many places in the city needing repairs, our smithy services are in high demand. Shoals can't hold the fort down alone either, so I can't leave. Uh, what say you go have a look, Traveler? If you find any crystal ore, bring them back with you. I think we found... A, a, I'm on the case. Okay. My thanks, these crystal ore should help you in forge and restoring the city as well. Did we... Did we find a few of these already? I guess not. Oh, look how beautiful it is over the bridge as well. So we said we were going to go back here anyway, so now we're going back. It's funny how that always works out in the end. And I like doing these little missions as well for people because it does make you feel like you're more, like I said, a power of the world. And of course they'd ask us because we're the hero of Monster, you know? So it's that ore over there. Um, should I just go for these guys as well? Yeah, yeah. And then look at the combo of this. Like, it's actually an insane combo, isn't it? Like both of their hold moves. Go. Do we just destroy it? It's actually like way stronger than regular ore for sure. So we have to check all. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Is there like a. There are closer waypoints, but like we can walk to this one over here. Like we should not, you know, <laughs> if we warp that that for that, then that would be very silly. And I know as well, I know I'm very aware you can travel with Sayu. And also pick stuff up on the ground when you guys are traveling with Sayu. But sometimes I like to just feel like, you know, as I'm walking around the place. It's the same with like Breath of the Wild as well. It's funny how like, you know, I, I find with, um, it's different amongst different communities, which is going to happen. Um, like if you talk, I remember I did a Dark Souls 3 playthrough, and you'll have people kind of be like, you know, oh, you used the home of bone to do, to just go back to the bonfire when it was, the bonfire was like two minutes away, and they'd probably call you kind of like silly for that. Uh, you guys haven't called me silly, by the way, but I'm saying that like, what happens then is that like in this, I find, I find with the, this community is kind of like, hey, you know, this, this land is big. Use as many of the fast travel points that you can, and you guys remind me of fast travel points all the time. Which, you know what, like, I'm not gonna complain about. Wait, it says just go and check. We don't even have to collect it. It says just go and check on it. But see here, I can totally use a fast travel point this way to just get closer here. This way. Yeah, totally acknowledge that Sayu has a fantastic way of just traveling around the place. It's definitely like a little bit faster for sure. Never look a gift horse in the mouth, I suppose. And the kick at the end is always very cool. Meet my ski. So, okay, we have... Oh, we actually did have to get the crystal chunks. 
<laughs> Maybe it's not designated how many crystal chunks we have to bring back. Just like as enough. Because I was wondering why, like, if I just had to check on them, I could have been like, hey, dude, I saw them there. You know, they were there. No doubt about it. It's crazy how much Monset has opened up as well, though. I have right here. I see these crystal stars actually don't look half bad. Here's your payment. Take it for your trouble. So it means the storm around storm tears there is indeed dispersed. I should make uh, time to go there myself soon. Okay, cool. Another little mission completed. We're upping our rank as well. Uh, there was another mission we could have done as well. Where was it? Sorry, it's not the mission thing. That's the map. On the world missions. New Horizons of Adventure. Look like Catherine. Oh, that's yeah. Looks like Catherine has something to tell you. Oh, and the other one. Uh, G Long uh, from Liu Harbor has seemed to find a way to fix the, that chimera. Is not three hundred thousand. So that's all the way in Li Liu. Yeah. So these are like missions that we're gonna have to do when we're going to a different place. There's also a mission up here. Is gift gift guy's not here? Does he only show up like once a month, maybe For, like a bit? What do you need, Huffman? There's still so much cleaning to do. I'm sure where we face continued attacks on bands of monsters for the entire duration of Storm Terror's incident. Although the Storm Terror incident is now resolved, we've successfully fended off monsters. The monster er erected a quite a substantial number of barricades outside the city over the course of the raids. So while the monsters themselves have been fought back, these barricades aren't about to disappear on their own accord. We can't just leave them there indefinitely, especially now that things are returning to the business as usual in the city. Unfortunately, knights are short-staffed and there's simply no one to take the task as honorary knight. Would you be able to clear up the barricades? Sure. Spoken like a true member of the Knights of Favonius. Honorary knight, you have my gratitude. Yeah, sure, why not? This sounds fun. This sounds super fun. We just have to break a across a bunch of barricades. Of course, that's Sayu's job. There's Timmy again. Is that the spot there? Because I was like, do we want to break down our barricades? No, it's like these barricades over here because we already broke down these barricades. Because the battle was over. Might be good idea to keep them up though. Oh, there's enemies there. Look at this. Okay. 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 Very cool way of knocking in the barricades, isn't it? Does this? I don't think this stays. Yeah, it doesn't stay because it's, it's it's his familiar kind of thing. Yeah, it makes sense that it doesn't stay. It's kind of cool that it doesn't stay because like I think if it stayed, then like it, it stops being personal to him, doesn't it? Yeah, this is a great party. At least for on the ground combat, this is a great party. The, oh, so there's still more. Cool. This is a fun little mission. This is fun. I can see the one over there. Um, we won't have the same impact. Lynn, you should probably go. You should probably go, girl. This isn't for you. You know? This isn't for you. Oh, God. Exactly what I wanted to get both these shields down. Get the timing back up again. Get out of here! Out of the way. Why do they never miss? Did you say why do they never miss? Get a little overload going there as well. Actually, I'm gonna get this guy as well because these guys are usually like, yeah, big trouble. They always like, how, like are, are being kind of like a little bit irritating on the side. Oh, 
Enemies have to destroy these barricades. Let's light it up. Do these? I think all. Wait. Oh God! There's still a barricade there. Uh, all these. All these barricades count. Is that all of them? There's, there's probably one more hanging around here, right? Does this count? This counts. This counts. <laughs> and there's one more? It usually goes in threes, doesn't it? Well, it should be ten. Oh, they they were they were creating barricades, guys. They were they were doing it. Look at this, all the way down here. Look at that tree. The tree's awesome. The tree that, um... That's the tree that Venti always goes to, isn't it? We should start with this, actually. Teamwork is dreamwork. Off we go. I didn't do this. Yeah, these, these, like, unbelievable... Unbelievable, uh, characters here, I really feel like. Look, there's an electro charge in these guys that are like just slightly damped in water. And if they're on fire as well, it would, would work too. And there's... Do these count? Possibly. There's a reason they're here to, to charge up like people, I think. And we just have to walk back and report this night. That way, yeah, like, I like little missions like that that don't take too long. But they're fun and they give you kind of, like, experience with combat. Oh, look at these guys. Rawr, 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 rawr. How's your progress finished cleaning dairy yet? All done. Fantastic. You've been enormous help. Who knows how much longer those ugly things would have been stood there otherwise. Honor, I please accept these as an expression of my gratitude. What do you give me? Oh, cool. Some more. 20,000 more. It's cool seeing characters that you remember as well throughout this whole game, isn't it? That there's, there's this constant thing of like, oh, I know that guy, I know that guy. So, we have to travel to Liu is, the, is one of the things we have to do. Um, but first, I would like to read the tutorial on... Unlocking domains. A new domain has been unlocked. Domains hide precious treasures. Okay. Be sure to explore the domains scattered all over the world to find tre hidden treasures within. A new domain has been unlocked. Oh, so there, these are these are the different things that we can, we already unlocked. So we still haven't done this. World level increase one. The world level increase along with your adventure rank. They're given more bountiful treasures, but naturally the opponents you kind of will also go stronger, of course. Um, sometimes you will need to complete... Oh, no, it is the same outfit. Sorry. Adventure rank ascension uh, quest to increase the world level. Learn more at the Adventurer's Guild. Ancient Rhyme, the special ice box covered in particular pattern cannot be melted by pyro attacks. The special ice box covered in particular patterns cannot be melted by pyro attacks. The only with uh, an attack affected by Scarlet Quartz can you neutralize this mysterious energy. Okay. And the Sub-Zero Climb. In the Sub-Zero Climb, you continuously accumulate Sheer Cold. When Sheer Cold reaches limit, your character will start rapidly losing HP. Apart from that, due to the Dragon Spine's unique Ley Line structure and climate, you may be unable to use some gadgets. Bonfires under Source of Heat will diminish Sheer Cold. There might also be special items that lessen the effects of Sheer Cold. Okay, certain conditions like snowstorms and actions like swimming accelerate sheer cold accumulation. Be careful. Plan your route ahead to make sure you'll survive the trip with it subs your climate. So you have to make sure we're like, we're traveling along the fire. We have to make sure there's fire along our journey. Let's, let's see if we can do that actually. But first, let's try this one more time. I find it funny. I don't know, I find it really funny. We're about to, well, we can activate the mission first. Because that's what we want to do. We want to do the, the actual missions themselves. Talk to 
talk to Charlotte. It's these ones. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to travel to here. The mission is indeed what's important. Um... Inve oh, you just it's right over here. We just have to investigate the strange ice. So then to do this, we just have to stand by the fire. Oh my god, look at you. Big boy. That fire is gone. Or is it? Off we go. It's actually a really cool enemy, isn't it? We have to be careful though, because it is a higher level than us. Are we still getting the effects of sheer cold, though? Yeah, we definitely should be. Oh, hold on a second. We we need to make more food and more HP. We can do we can do this, but it's not it's not as good as like a one time thing. This is this is gonna take a while to damage. Like look at that. I wonder what's the best course of action here then if we're not damaging it completely. I should have held that as well. Okay, we should also raise Bennett's before we do this too, though. Yeah, I don't know if we can even do this. Well, that increases your HP, but he's full. He's full. We set some actually damage. God, no, no, no. Oh my god. Get out of here! Take cover! I do like how also oh geez, we got hit with the aftermath as well. Huh? Out of the way! That's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh, geez. oh Jesus, help. Everybody stand back! want to get as much damage in with this as well. This is a really good move for this guy, I guess. Double the damage there too, you know? Well, there's one of those Scarlet things, though. Should be doing some uh, main hand attacks as well, though. Okay, what am I looking at here again? Oh, we should have used that shielded attack. Why do they never miss? Razor, razor, razor. That's not razor, but we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> that was definitely not razor. Time. I keep pressing up instead of down, which is worrying. And now we're back in this thing. Oh my god! The double slap. Are you hungry again? That'll do. Oh, we can do this. Constant fire damage. Switch to Razor. Nice. 
this this was a boss. I think I guess technically it was a boss. Scarlet Quartz. The odd gem called Scarlet Quartz contains a certain kind of warming energy. Break them to collect their fragments to engulf your character in the energy. So we just use these then to like travel around the world a little bit better. Is this what you want me to investigate? Wait, did I use the Scarlet thing? Already? Wait, what did what did they, when they say investigate the coal, what do they mean? Like this? Investigate the strange ice. Off we go. Hold on a second. Do we have to maybe we just have to destroy this? There's more sky Oh, you can find it everywhere. Okay, it's not gonna be like extremely rare. That's good. So this keeps us warm. But we need more of that if we, if we even want to like try doing that. So that's... Okay. Did we see... We probably didn't see this along the way because I was just trying to get through this, didn't, weren't we? We were just trying to get through all this. Maybe. Hold open the shortcut with viewer details of sheer cold effect. Yeah, I know. So this is here. So character subs your climate continues use yeah, when sheer cold bonfires and other sources diminish the cold, certain conditions like snowstorms and actions like swimming across yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, we read this earlier. So this diminishes sheer cold, but we also need oh there's more up there. There's more up there. So I think we just need to take one at a time to destroy that, because I think they actually want me to destroy that. Concha? No, I want to... Why would I... In fairness, like, and there's one over there again. It, 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 it respawns. It respawns the Scarab. Stop. Why would I be swing? Why would I swing at the thing that's further away from me? I guess he is a heavy weapon user, though. Start. Frost-bearing three awakening. The ancient tree that should have slumbered for- Okay. This thing just flew up in the air and looks like it was going towards the mountain summit. Oh, shall we go and have a look around or should we go back and ask someone about the situation? Uh, calm down. Hey, boys. Boys. Stop playing. So I wonder how long does a slime, does it, sorry, not a slime, a, a scarlet last as well. No, you're not going back to heal up. Sorry, no, it's not happening. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that, buddy. Sorry. Oh, he, he did anyway. He's like, I'm going back anyway. <laughs> that heal up mechanic is so weird for these guys. Frostbaron tree, crimson agate. When exploring the Dragon's Point region, you will sometimes find a kind of crystalline substance known as crimson agate. Offering these crimson agates to frost-bearing trees may yield riches. Uh, okay, cool. So we can or wait for real. We need ten. Okay, cool, cool. Continue upwards to investigate, and we're warm because we have the scarab with us as well, so we're fine. Are they showing us where there's like, like agate all over the place? If they are, that's very kind. And I thank you. Maybe not. 
Maybe I just taught that. Make my escape. But I think we're going the right mm. way. If not, we can we'll just travel up here anyway. We should stop at all the bonfires though for sure. And use Bennett yeah. more often. <laughs> Oh, there's one up there as well, so we're fine. up again yeah the chest stuff is really nice too like we do get some really nice chests around the place and the scatter will keep us warm for a bit that's good that's good to know we also need those rocks to break things down too it's it's a pity it doesn't accumulate because like i feel like it only you can only use one at a time there but i'll take whatever we can get for now Oh, you are. Okay. Again, without. Everybody, stand back. Oh, we can we can beat this guy for sure. Uh. What happens if we do this? Probably heals them up. Huh? Out of the way. Again, good damage. I do like the Bennett like busts himself every time he does that. It's really funny. We go. Huh? Take cover. What does that do? Oh, okay. Lower the water. Because you wouldn't have been able to go in the water anyway, right? Because of the... Those effects. Adventure time. Nice. Even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Oh, we need to get out of here quickly. I wonder what doing like. So, wait, is that he oh that that heals us up? That heats us up. So where are we going, exactly? I think we should head directly in the direction of where we're going, which is up that way. Right? I think that's I think that's the best option. So let's get one of these. And just head like diagonally. I know it's probably not the best thing to do, but I feel like since we're like on, we, we don't have a map of this area. Oh god, we're not gonna be able to climb this high. We might get lucky if they let us walk here for a second. No, we have to go with this way. Oh wait, oh sliding down. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's get this again. I mean, there's no point in not exploring that if we're, if we're, if we're in Tome City, ancient place, ancient palace. Bennett's. The music here is so good! Nice little overload as well for these guys. Wrong character I'm using, but I shouldn't have even switched anyway. Because like, if you use that ability, you should keep it out. I think, because it's not something that transfers over. Use it to its full ability. You know what I mean? I always bounce back. Just watch me. Stuck on the tree. 
this down. Yeah, let's get this down. Fight me on the ground, I'd say. So we got a bunch of those things there. Is there scar around here that we could use? There's something up there. These things. These are actually like really cool like heaters. We need to cook more food as well, by the way. Oh, there. Is that an agate? I think it's a... I think we're going in the completely opposite direction where we need to go. But it actually might be easier to go up that way and explore. Let's go. Let's get this. Crazy, man. All because I know I just understood to do it down here as well, but all just because I wanted to go do that mission. Which is... We can fast travel back up here. And go directly towards there. Get some scared and go directly to towards there. That's my plan. But then again, we have to, like, climb... Well, we could... Actually, there's more crevices here. We could probably climb this way. We tried this before, remember, we're going full frost. We're getting frostier, for sure. And we're gonna start losing health. But at least we will get the mission done. And there's also maybe an agate up here too. Or something to heat us up. This is a long walk up. Okay, we can't, we don't have time to look. We don't have time to look, this is just really pretty. What the, what are you doing? What was that? What is this? Is this not heat? It, it doesn't stop it. It just prevents it. I think this is where we have to go. Off we go. Investigate. And we'll cook something. Uh, this is always the easiest thing to cook, isn't it? Did not do that. That's a not nasty looking chicken. There we go. That's fine. Have a little, have a little bit of health as we're going forward. Wait, is it this way? Is it, I think it's up above. But look, we, we we got to see what we came to see anyway. We got some heat as well. And we can travel back out. We're going to avoid these enemies for now because I feel like just fighting them, we're just going to build up our, our cold, you know? And they are a higher level than us at the moment. Stick to the plan is what I say. Best yet this way. Oh, get her stamina up. See, I'm looking for the crevices right up here, like there. That'll work out for us. And then we can also like sit on this up here. Watch it actually be in that cave and I just missed it. Look at that, this is the type of stuff that I love, like finding these little tiny nooks and crannies you can actually climb up in. Oh God, we have to hurry. Cause we're doing good. But we still need... 
you know, items to stay warm. Oh, they, they stopped us from going that way? Oh, we're not, we're not allowed to travel that direction. Okay, so we can't just go directly there. So we have to pass through here, maybe? That might be it. So if I navigate towards here, that seems like it's, it's where we're going, right? Wait, is that unlocked? No, 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 it's not. It was a glitch. I was like, oh my god. We did it, guys. I, I didn't even do anything. Yeah, it has to be, it has to be going up this way. I know we passed through here already, but that's, it seems like this is the way the progression is going. Would have made sense to go this way anyway, because look, it's the most like progressive filled. Let's go up this way. How oh, there's a fire guy. Yeah, please don't go towards the enemies. I wonder, like, yeah, we just need to level up our characters. That's it. Because I feel like that, like, it's not like we're we're we, we're we're under level by choice. We can level up our crew. I get down there, I can see it. So this was um, something I couldn't do before. Oh, th that's simple. <laughs> there we go. I mean, unlocked a whole new part of the map. Statue's blessing. Oh. We just gain level up anyway. So we'll actually like, give offer some stuff to the statue as well. Because we have quite a few stuff that we can or, or offer in a way. Our adventure rank went up too. We're doing a lot of stuff today. Jesus, this way, yeah, this is why we have to investigate. Awesome. Okay, so we did unlock the entire map. This actually is like a really cool area. Oh, we have to just report back. I'll do that right away. And also, we can get some stuff for our adventure rank too. So it's just right back here. That's so cool. We unlocked the map now. I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. You guys are probably screaming at me to do that anyway. Guys, I am back. And believe it or not, it was crazy. Wait, did we not? I thought we would have, um... In the mountains, yeah. <laughs> there she is. Hmm, is something to matter? Did you come here just to see the sights, or that boy Cyrus send you here on some commission? Whatever your reason for being here uh, may be, stay under guard at all times. It's very dangerous. Oh, you're back. How did it go? Did you see the ice? Oh, you're in quite a state, aren't you? You've already been that high up? I'm very impressed. Still, a cavern blocking a strange air current, you say? Let me think. Ada reminds me. We did have an adventure team that also got lucky enough to reach a very high point. They couldn't have uh, gotten uh, c close enough, but they were poor back to... Okay. But lo oh, I have autoplay on. That's my problem. But logically no, uh, speaking, no air current is such a place should be that strong. No one knows the reason why either. Apart from the strange air current, this mountain is also home to very strange ice. This ice is incredibly hard to break and will not melt when exposed to fire. It's proved a major obstacle to our exploration as well. As a result, we have been unable to find a way to deal with that ice, so we've had to go around it. What's more, blue plants are often f uh, found growing near the, uh, this ice. I could think you see there was something encased in the, within the ice, but since I was unable to melt it, catching a glimpse of it was as far as I got. Sayo looks so interested. If you're interested, you can follow the trail of blue plants uh, to have a look at that ice. Let me think. I believe that the Entome City outskirts and Stargo Cavern are home to many of the blue plants, but you can go and check them out. A strange, powerful air current, bizarre ice, and odd plants. If this is your standard tale of adventure, there would be some link between the, these, these three. But in real life, it's best to be practical when adventuring. Make sure you prepare yourself sufficiently before heading to Dragonspine, you hear? 
So we finished that mission, right? Oh, no. We, we added a new part of the mission. Thaw out all the shards. That's a new part of the mission. Okay, first of all, let's go back to town. And we will do that mission. But let's go back to town and get our adventure rank stuff. Here we go. What do we get? Yeah, pretty good. Like, I'll take it. For sure. Like, that's fairly good, right? So, thaw all the shards. Hold on a second. Thaw it all... It doesn't have... On the map where that would be, does it? Does it? Hold on a second. According to Iris, there are two other shards here on Dragon Spine. If you follow the strange blue plants, you might be able to find the more shards. This is an interesting quest because I'm not even sure what to do here. We'll do Lost in the Snow for now. I know we're not supposed to switch between them, but, like, I'd, I'd rather get a, a mission done. Wait, where are we going? <laughs> Lost in the Snow, so it's just, because it's just here. What are we looking for? Oh. All the snow covered path here? What does this mean? Is it down below, maybe? Oh. There it is, yeah. Oh, did we already discover something like this? Oh, sorry, boys. I interrupted your, um,. I'm alone. That is, as they say, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Teamwork is dream work. It is a dream work. So far, so smooth. The weather is fine, supplies are pl plentiful, and the monsters have been on their best behavior. I also discovered a copy of Volume 6. The Boar Princess in my backpack. Joel must have sneaked it in there, that cheeky kid. Still, the book is about a brave boar and her journey up a snowy mountain with her companions. When I'm heading up to a snowy mountain myself, and considering how well everything's gone so far, who knows? Maybe this book is bringing me good luck. Thank you, Joel. Anyway, I shall be heading off to the next campsite to resupply and record my progress, and then I'll head down the mountain. Joel is waiting for me, after all. So there's more places that we would have to go. <laughs> not just in this. So it's actually not that far, though. It's actually beautiful here when it's not, uh, you know, a blizzard. I mean, the blizzard is pretty too, in a way. <laughs> How far away is it? Oh, we could travel along this path here. It's a broken path, but it's a path. Is that? <laughs> what in the hell was that? That stopped me in my tracks.
take an agate. Oh, it's this boy over here. Adventure Wait. time. Is there any scattered stuff around the place? There might be. I'm just trying to get this for now. Because I know we don't have a lot of time here. Where's the nearest scattered thing then? Off we go. There must be one somewhere. We're fully frozen. <laughs> um, I cannot see it anywhere. Unless this is just basic ice, but I don't think it is. It is. Neither a note. Not on towards happening on the way. The weather remains fine indeed. It seems that my luck has turned at last. Perhaps I can make a run for the summit after all. I'll just give a little go. If anything happens, I'll turn back right away. Um. Let's light it up. Could uh, it break? Oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully there's something there. Hopefully. But guys, I'm going to end this video here just because I have some stuff to do. I know it's not two hours. Usually I do two hour videos. We're going to end this here. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I feel like this is a weird episode because it was kind of like a transition episode. We're not quite doing the main story. We did part of the main story and that's kind of it. If you get what I'm saying. Uh, but I thank uh, the the Can Never Pay The Baby Gangsta tier on Patreon, which is TieFire02, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, Smidge, Rachel S, Felicitas Felix, George Candelaria, S. Kun, Yuld, Radish, and Pokegoo. Thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you very soon.